morning everyone, Vincent here for Tanda Lockdown Safari and this morning I am with Mariana from the wildlife team and we're going to talk about telemetry. And we did another video with Kent and we were talking about camera traps and how we can keep an eye on the animals we don't see because they are active at night or because they're just too elusive for us. But there are animals we can keep an eye on during the day because they are active when we are also out and uh, also especially the animals that we introduce to the reserve and because we want to make sure they are doing fine and they're still alive and still within the reserve. So for that we use telemetry and then I will let Marianne explain what it is. Thank you. Um, yeah, so basically there's a few species that we put radio collars on. Um, let's say if you bring in a new lion, you need to keep track of him for about a year or so just to make sure he doesn't run away and try to go back to his home. Um, or to make sure that he doesn't fight with other lions. So, um, and then also we put collars on cheetahs because they're endangered. Um, we have to keep an eye on them. You know, if a lion injures his leg, then he will be fine. He's got other lions to feed him. But if an, a cheetah does that, um, there's no way for him to hunt. And then we usually take a step in, get a vet and have a look. But to do that, we need to be able to track them. So our cheetahs always have collars on. Um, we replace it every two years because the batteries die. So we have a few different collars here. Basically how they work is they each have a transmitter in. And each transmitter has got a different frequency. Like when you're sitting at home listening to the radio, you can choose your favorite radio station. Um, so they are exactly the same. They send out a pulse which um, we can pick up with a telemetry, which I will show you just now. Um, so then basically anywhere on top of a high hill, you should be able to pick it up um, for up to about five kilometers or so. If the animals are in ditches or um, sitting behind a tree, it, it makes it more difficult. Um, but yeah, luckily we've got a lot of big hills on Tanda that we can go sit yeah, on. And that, that's why the video is a bit windy, because <laughs> we're going to use the telemetry uh, just now so yeah it's it's gonna be a bit windy I hope it, uh, the mic doesn't uh, catch that too much but this is the reason why because we need to be top uh, on top of a hill for the telemetry and luckily there's no lightning today yeah no <laughs> hopefully all right so um, let me just explain the different colors this is the cheetah one uh, we try to give them nice small ones um, which means the battery is smaller and in a, they don't last as long but you don't want to put too much weight on them and as the species gets bigger you can put a bigger battery back in um, this is just a normal VHF collar um, you get satellite ones where I could sit in my office and go well the cheetahs over there or the lion is over there um, but those are all very expensive and then you can't see if the animal is healthy you know, you know where he is but you still have to go there and see what he's up to so this is a lion collar uh, a new line collar, this cheetah collar has been used. Um, this line collar will go on a new lion that we need to monitor just to see how she's doing and then after a year, like I say, we'll remove it again. Um, this is an elephant collar. So these are all just normal VHF collars which means we can track them with a telemetry and not satellite. Yeah, so this is a little bit bigger. Um, which will be for when we introduce new buffalo for genetic reasons you have to introduce new animals every now and again so we'll put it on one of the buffaloes so we can see how they settle in do they go to water do they find the food and then this big one is an elephant collar um, it is blue they don't stay blue very long they go brown or red ish very quickly and as you can see it's quite a long one So and then, you know when you fit these collars you have to be very careful. If you make it too loose the elephant's trunk can get stuck in it and then you can't eat. Um, with the cheetahs if it's too loose um, they can get their jaws stuck on it. So it's not that it's just put on and the fact that the animals are wild means you have to get a vet in to let them sleep so you can put it on. And if we use the scholars for conservation, uh, we don't use them for guiding. So when you are when you come to Tanda, you you are with a, a guiding team, a guide and a tracker. And if we want to find cheetahs, if we want to find lions or elephants or anything, we need to find them ourselves and we track them. We don't use that device. It's uh, for conservation purpose only, and it's only for the wildlife team. And uh, the other reason 
we can color animals is also for research. Yeah, so um, we, we have put an a collar on each elephant um, matriarch so that we can follow the herds and see how they interact. It also helps with research to see um, where they go certain times of year, what vegetation they prefer, um, and then also um, you know what type of trees they like to eat in the winter, which trees they push over, and try to figure out what they are looking for in the trees. So there's a lot of things you can look at. Um, the, the colors aren't just on there for us to track the animals, it's also to do research and help with projects that universities might want to do with any of the species here yeah, um, that we, are, we can put colors on. So now the animal has a collar, and uh, so we need to be able to receive the frequency sent by the collar. So we use the antenna, the actual telemetry device. So yeah, this is the antenna, um, this is the front bit of it. If you look closely, it's difficult. This one is shorter than that one. So both of these arms, if you want to call it that, will pick up the, the frequency. So it's not just going, oh, bleep, it's over there. Um, both sides will pick it up so you have to work very nicely to make sure the animal is not sitting behind you you know if you don't drive past it and it'll take hours if you don't check all around and um, this is the receiver so this is a nice one because it's digital and you can put the frequency in on here and save it um, we get all kinds of different ones we just type it in quickly um, but uh, yeah so this is quite nice um, I can flick through the colors which one I want to track um, and then basically the louder the beep gets, the closer you are to the animal. Um, th the problem we have with this is that uh, power lines mess with the frequency, um, lightning does as well, and then also cameras. You know, some people's cameras mess with it, so when I go out with a photographer, it makes it very difficult to track the cheetahs if the cameras are on, which they usually are. Yeah, and this one is on now. <laughs> yeah. Well, luckily this one doesn't make it. Well, no, it doesn't get it. <laughs> okay, there you go. So that's the direction where the female is in. It's a female cheetah that we're looking for. Yeah, so basically I've got it in that direction. If I move it around, it goes much quieter. Uh, yeah. So should we go find her? 